Hi Cancer, Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022. And it's going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And as always, it is general. So it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can always book a personal reading if you want more specific information, or you can check out one of your other signs and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, let's see, Cancer, what is going on with you? First half of January, we have the answer is no. Okay, so this could be a whole bunch of things. Maybe there is something that you've been wondering about. Um, so this could be the answer. However, what I'm picking up on is actually, I feel like this is actually you saying no to a particular situation or to a particular behavior, attitude, something. So I feel like it's more of what your answer is to something as opposed to, you know, the universe giving you an answer. But we'll see. Let's, let's get into the tarot. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It could even be somebody else saying no to a particular situation. I don't know why, I just feel like it's you. But again, roles can be reversed, so just take the messages as they resonate for you. Alright, so for the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Queen of Swords. Okay, interesting. There's, it's like you're working on yourself. I feel like if this is you, okay, it could be the other person, but I'm also, again, it, it feels like this is you. Um, it's like you're trying to find what it is that you are worth or you are beginning to understand what it is that you are worth. I feel like you, you do understand it. I feel like you have found this. And basically what this, the first couple of weeks in January um, is about, is about you actually putting those into practice, like cutting out whatever it is that does not align with you or that is not um, in alignment with what it is that you deserve or with your own sense of self-worth, like whatever is not nurturing for you to pretty much be firm and set those boundaries. And I feel like that's why we also have the answer is no. Um, saying no to something that does not nurture your own self. So for your recent past, we have the Ace of Wands. In your current energy, we have the Magician. Near future, we have the moon. Okay, so it could be that, you know, you've either already taken some action recently. I will see more when we clarify. It could be that you were very passionate about something, wanting something to take off, want like a connection with somebody, or wanting a certain connection to come back together, like with passion. Currently, it's like you're in this manifesting mode. I feel like you are finding out things about yourself that maybe you did not know before, which are positive and like capabilities, for example, that you have skills, um, eat talents, or even if it's just that you have this power, this strength within you to actually set your boundaries. Um, we will clarify the moon for your near future to see what that is about. It is Pisces energy. It could be that there's something you're not sure of coming up. But, oops, one sec. All right. So, for another person here, I don't know why I felt like shuffling them again. I usually don't, but that's, that's what happened. So, we have the Three of Swords in their current energy, the Wheel of Fortune. And coming up for them in the near future, we have the Page of Cups. And the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, interesting. So, three queens. Three queens, none of which are um, the water sign, right? <laughs> which would um, represent you. But I feel like that's because you're tapping into so many different aspects of your own self. Like you already have the cup, right? Because you're cancer, you have that water element. And it's like you're really bringing every other part or every other element um, into your own being to embody. All right, so, all right, for this person, um, there's been pain. There's been pain for this person um, in the recent past. I don't know if they, what this might be or if they have recovered. 
I do see that they're undergoing some kind of a shift and opening up to love. So it could be that this person, um, you know, maybe wasn't opening up because that's what it feels like they're shifting towards, opening up emotionally. But yeah, let's clarify and see what this is all about. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Swords. All right, then we have the King of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Hermit. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely feels like this is what you are doing. I feel like, you know, you do have emotions, right? You have a lot of emotions for this person. I feel like this person also has emotions for you, but it feels like for whatever reason, you are either wanting to take a break or you're you're keeping your distance, you're pulling away. And again, this is happening because you are discovering a lot of things about yourself. I feel like there are a lot of lessons that you are learning about your own self and as well as about love and about um, emotional maturity and emotional stability. So because you are learning these lessons and you are embodying them, you are moving in the direction of setting those those boundaries. So I feel like that is what, what is happening here for you. Let's see that Ace of Wands in your recent past. The Six of Swords. Yeah, there was something that you you wanted. You wanted here with this person. You wanted it to take off. You felt that passion or you wanted to bring something back together. But I feel like you know, you, you wanted this to happen in a very peaceful way and apparently I feel like it wasn't working out in that way and so you decided to move away from this in order to find your own, your own peace, basically. Let's see the Three of Swords for them. And we'll get a bit more clarifiers here because Hopefully we'll figure out what, what this is about. All right, Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Tower. Okay, wow, that is some pretty intense energy. Again, roles can be reversed, right? So don't forget that. Um, whatever this is, this person has been through something very, very challenging. Um, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, feeling trapped, not knowing what to do, feeling like everything around them is just being destroyed. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this is related to you or if it is a, a different situation that they're dealing with. It could be that it's one way for some of you and then another way um, for others of you, okay? Because this, is, this reading is general. Um, but definitely this person had something very, very, I, I feel like it was even traumatic. That, they, that has happened to them recently. Or it could be, you know, a, f a bit further back in the past. Time is relevant, so it really does depend. Whew, but whatever this is, again, it feels like it was something that is actually helping them to learn lessons as well because it's like following this tower, right? There's this wheel of fortune, like something is shifting. That tower is creating a huge, huge change and it's coming after some kind of pain and a lot of grief, a lot of stress. For some of you, again, it could be because you you walked away from this possibly. You wanted this to come back, it didn't, or this person was not um, giving you what you needed or whatever the case is, it's not really being clear right now. The point that's being emphasized is that this person went, <laughs> underwent a huge, huge tower, a lot of pain, and is now learning from that. All right, let's see this Wheel of Fortune for them. See the shift. Temperance, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. So again, it's going to be different what what was going on here for each of you, like the specifics. But I'm getting that whatever whatever behavior it is that they were engaging in, 
it's like they're learning how to um, temper that, like how to find the middle ground. I feel like they're walking away from anything that was um, extreme or anything that was not serving them, anything that was not in balance, like it was just functioning at either one extreme or the other. And again, it's coming in as a huge, huge lesson here. And with this Queen of Swords, there's a lot of clarity about what that was and what it is that they need to move away from in order to find that balance, that healing. And for some of them, I mean, it might take a little bit of time, but it's happening. Like the, that wheel is turning. Things are shifting. But it's definitely a very difficult um, process. And I feel like that's why they then have the Page of Cups, for example, and not, not something like the King of Cups because it is gradual. So they're st it's like they're starting off small in that first step or, you know, the, the first result that they're getting from this is to be more open to their hearts, to be more open to their emotions and to love, basically. It could even, this could even be an apology, but again, we'll see when we clarify. Let's see the Magician for your current energy. Alright, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. Yeah, see, so this is actually, this is actually a shift for you as well. It's just this shift for you is happening more in disguise. It's like with this hanged man, you are actually taking a step back. And I feel like you, what you're doing is you are distancing yourself from the situation. And because you're doing that, you're able to see it from a completely different perspective. And not only that, it's like you're seeing yourself from a completely different perspective. It's like you are really in touch with this feeling of, you know, this was whatever was happening was not fair for me or just m more than anything, really, like I said, embodying so many aspects of yourself that you didn't even know that you had. Because when I was talking about all these um, queens showing up for you, especially the, the elements that are not um, in your energy naturally, right? Um, I was thinking about that empress because the empress embodies all elements of all the queens. And then here she is showing up in your current energy. So it is a process, right? With the knight of pentacles here, but and it, it might be also moving a little bit slowly for you as well, especially with the Hanged Man and the Knight of Pentacles. But this is the direction that you are moving in towards fully embodying all these um, new understandings about your own self. Again, talents, skills, just what you are worth. Feeling like you can love yourself from the outside almost. Like the way that you think you love other people or certain other people. It's like now you're loving yourself in that way which is very, very beautiful. And because of that, you're making things, you're manifesting, basically. This is very, very positive for you. And again, you know, and by doing that, <laughs> you're saying no to certain things that are not in alignment with that. Let's see the moon for what is coming up for you. Let's see what is that moon about. And because I didn't call it out, we do have Virgo that is showing up. We also have Sagittarius. <clears throat> All right, so clarifying the moon, we have the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, I see what this is. Hmm. I feel like certain, certain emotions from the past are going to be coming up to the surface. And it's, but 
the way that I'm seeing this is you pretty much being like an observer, which I feel like you're already in that kind of a space. And so it feels like you're going to be like observing your, you know, the pain that you have carried. Um, possibly abandonment, either from the past or from this, from this connection. And I feel like that is going to be coming up, but it's not going to feel so painful. It's more of you kind of like exploring that. I also, what I'm getting here is that you, you might not really be aware of what this other person is actually going through because they have that, um, they have that three of swords. So I feel like you're not really aware of that, of the pain or of what, how bad it was, what they went through when, when there was this pause between the two of you. I'll see the page of cups for them. Hmm. I love how <clears throat> it, it just feels like you're each getting each other's energy in your cards um, because now <clears throat> they're getting the Queen of Pentacles, which I really felt was you here in the beginning, and you're showing up now in their energy. Um, the, the Emperor, as well as the Fool, so three major Arcana cards. Okay, so yes, you're definitely not able to see how big of a shift it is that is happening for them, all right? Major Arcana cards, when you, well, actually, no, it's not three, it's two, but still, um, this is huge. But it's going to be presenting itself as something small, as this page. But what's really going on beneath that is that this person is beginning to appreciate you, seeing what your worth is, and that's because you're setting those boundaries and you're making things happen for yourself and because you are feeling that way about your own self. So you're vibrating that, right? You're vibrating that self-worth and so automatically it's like respect is demanded and here it is. So that's number one and then number two, it's like this person is, is taking a huge leap here. They're showing up as this page. So it could be, it could come in the form of some kind of communication, opening up a little bit emotionally. Um, it could take the form of an apology. But like I said, underlying that though, there's this person is moving towards being this emperor. And it's like they're, they're in the beginning of that journey, moving in that direction, also finding their own self-worth at the same time. See the Queen of Wands for the potential outcome here. Ooh, okay, and we have the Seven of Pentacles as well as the Six of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you know you're just going to be very, very desirable here. You're going to be so confident. It's like you're going to be desirable even to your own self. <laughs> it's like that much to the point where I feel like. You know, it's like these steps are being taken, the seeds are being planted, moving you towards this success, winning, moving you towards this winning type of an attitude, a winning type of a situation. And it's like you're really manifesting that and bringing that in. I also see this as this person actually putting in that effort, trying to um, really trying to be successful at winning you over, basically. So yeah, all right, Cancer, let's see if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. Ooh. And we have the full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah, it does feel like, you know, by you setting these boundaries, you saying no, it's like both of you are winning, it's a win-win outcome. So. Great reading, <laughs> Cancer. I love this reading for you. Thank you so, so much for watching and much love.